All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. If uh, you guys remember earlier in the year, I made a video about the direction of where this channel is going. And as you can probably tell from the videos I've been posting so far this year, the content has sort of been all over the place in terms of the, the type of content. And obviously, I want to post videos that you guys will actually find interesting or at least useful. And uh, you know, that's the whole point of my channel. But uh, that being said, because of the situation that I'm in, since I'm on active duty and I'm currently deployed, and uh, in a different environment uh, you know these these different types of videos are frankly just what uh, what are the content that I have to post it's not even work I don't even know how to talk right now um, it's been so long since I've recorded a new video I don't know how to make YouTube videos anymore but uh, that's that being said uh, this video I wanted to put together primarily because the journey to hitting the thousand pound club or getting a 600 on the army combat fitness test um, or even just preparing for my first bodybuilding competition in October. Those are three big fitness goals I have this year. Um, they're not just going to be a, you know, snap my fingers and it's done kind of situation, right? Um, it's gonna take a lot of work and I have been working. And so this is the work in, in progress. I think a lot of what folks like to see, not just on YouTube, but in general, and um, kind of the journey to get to a goal or an achievement is the work and the process involved. So I want to show you guys a little bit of that at least um, because every single day if I'm not working, I'm pretty much in the gym working out um, or eating and consuming protein. Um, just protein and motivation books. So that's the focus. Um, I'm not going to talk for this entire video because this is just me working out, but this is currently my workout split for leg days, which is also absolutely the focus because for the last uh, 24 years of my life, I haven't really been doing legs. And so this year is the first year I've really focused on a well-rounded physique. So not just upper bodies, weird delts, you know, focused on bench pressing, uh, but working on the, the whole physique, because again, for the bodybuilding competition, it's gonna matter when they do the, you know, abdominals and thighs. I can't be just all upper body. So hope you guys enjoy this process video that I have for you guys with the workout split. I'll put on the screen kind of what the, the workouts are. In terms of this leg day, it's, um, it's actually Ace's current workout plan for leg days because I always work out with Ace. He's my workout buddy here. Um, and this is his Tom Platt's leg day. So in the future, if we make another video together for whatever reason, then I'll have him explain the workout, but this is not mine. I was just following his, his leg day because uh, because that man is quadzilla and uh, doesn't get hit legs anymore. So, One thing I should also mention is that in the interest of going heavy and trying to get to the Thousand Pound Club and reaching all these goals really fast, um, I've incurred a shoulder injury, which is probably just about the most frustrating thing because I hate getting sick or getting injured because it just hinders progress and doesn't allow you to continue to work out. And right now at least, if I can't lift weights, it's not great. Like, I'm not even just talking about like mental health, but what else am I gonna do here? Um, besides, of course, make videos for you guys. So, um, I can't use my left shoulder for pretty much any pressing motion, so overhead press, uh, chest press, um, a lot of stuff. And so, the doctor told me to take two months off from lifting. As soon as I left the clinic, went straight to the gym, the hit shoulders. Um, probably not a great idea, and my shoulders were hurting the next day and the next few days, um, so I need to take more ibuprofen and do more of the physical therapy for that. But it's unfortunate that I have this shoulder injury right now because of course I'm, I'm competing in, in October and I'm doing all these different things. I'm trying to reach my goals. And again, this is slow enough the progress, but such is life. And that's what happens when you get either over leveraged or get over excited and take too much risk. And uh, that's what I did going going for a PR on bench without warming up properly. So now I'm paying a price. So take care of my mistakes and do not make them yourself. I'm probably gonna have this part of the video as a small box in the frame of this overall video. And don't expect this video to get any likes or views or anything 
me documenting my progress and showing you guys the journey, but I am also trying to figure out where a good place is to, you know, like record a video in my room in this situation. Um, it's just kind of a mess. I mean, it's just my bed in the background and then like clothes. And I feel like that's a really ugly background to have for videos. So I'm trying to figure out the best place and method to record content for you guys. Um, and so on my, on my days off, try to be productive and useful and eat lots of protein and put together videos for you guys. You might enjoy it. So, enjoy. The most out of rigs hair okay gonna get my hair cut tomorrow don't you worry uh, I would say that was a pretty solid leg and core day primarily focused on legs because that is simply what I need to work out the most and the weakest body part right now uh, prepping for the October competition my workout buddy Ace is getting his wisdom teeth removed tomorrow, I think. And so he's gonna be out of commission for a few days. So we wanted to hit a solid leg session, which I think was accomplished and uh, got a pretty good pump for what it's worth. I don't really, I don't really get leg pumps. I should just like flex the biceps and the, get the lat spread and the, you know, the shoulders going, but uh, pretty solid leg day. So sitting at about 185 right now didn't step on the scale while i was in there but i'm trying to cut down to probably 180 so i want to go up to about 190 peak bulk and then 60 days out i'll start cutting i honestly don't think i need much of a cut because i'm already pretty lean i've been doing a lean bulk which has been good for me so i'm gonna keep you guys updated with my progress and the journey 
to my first bodybuilding competition doing it all natural and I'm gonna look as good as fucking possible without uh, the juice so it should be good it should be interesting and uh, I'm excited to see how it turns out bring the striations out so appreciate you guys watching I'll see you guys in the next one